Welcome back to the Link Outdoors. Today we're going to do a bottling of the Belgian Double that I brewed a little over a month ago. It's been fermenting in the basement this whole time and now it's time to bottle it. So first step we're going to do is we're going to get the bottling sugar ready. We're going to add a cup and a half of water to the boiling pot and two tablespoons of sugar. The sugar is going to be there to help react with the yeast inside the bottles, carbonate the beer and then here in a couple weeks we'll be ready to start tasting it. So while we wait on that to boil for five minutes, we're going to take the other half of our sanitizer pack from the first video. We're going to mix it in with this cup of, or this bowl of hot water. We're going to get that mixed in, let it dissolve really well. And we're going to go ahead and sanitize all the equipment we're going to use to bottle, as well as all of the tin bottles. Since we did a gallon of beer, we should expect to get about 10 bottles of beer out of it. So we got the sanitizer dissolved in there. Go ahead and mix in, mix that sugar water just in case there's a little sugar that hadn't dissolved yet. And we'll set that down. And we'll toss some stuff in and get it sanitized. What, cop, you need a beer? What, maybe two? We get all this equipment, we'll let it sit in there for about a minute. While we're waiting. <laughs> all right, all the equipment's been sanitized now, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it out of the sanitizer, set it out to dry, so that it'll be ready to go. Here in just a couple minutes, whenever the beer is done boiling. And now we'll go ahead and start sanitizing all our bottles. What I do, I just get a little bit of that sanitizer into the bottle and just swish it around really good. Make sure we get everything inside the bottle. call that good. Now I'm going to set the bottles over here to dry and see you in nine more bottles. equipment sanitized and we've got the bottling sugar done boiling. We moved it off the heat, turned the heat off. We're going to let it cool down to about room temperature. And then we're going to go ahead and siphon our beer into the bottling sugar and get that mixed together good before we bottle it. Alright, so to siphon it from the carboy into the bottling sugar, we filled the tube up with water. We took the other end, stuck it down into the carboy, we're going to take the water that was in the tube, empty it out into this cup first, and then once we get beer coming through, we're going to start going into the bottling sugar. Okay, and gravity is your friend here. So the higher you can get the carboy, the faster that beer is going to go through and into your bottling sugar. I'm going to drop that down in there and tighten it 
time lapses. I was gonna ask you the same thing, but I was gonna hold this for you. <laughs> siphoned into the bottling sugar we're gonna go ahead and just mix it in really well before we go ahead and bottle it once we bottle it we'll cap it and we'll let it carbonate for a couple of weeks and then we'll be ready to taste all right so we filled this tube up with water to start a new siphon we'll dunk this end down into the beer we're gonna take the other end empty it out into this cup and once we get beer coming through cut it off we're going to take this filter and we're going to filter the beer one more time and start filling up these bottles you're going to fill them up until a little bit after where the neck is and then you'll be good to go to do is cap all these bottles hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to like and subscribe um, let's get to it